Folks, what did I tell you? The pattern holds true. Nintendo has officially confirmed an announcement of an announcement. This is basically what I was expecting. This is what I had been kind of telling you guys to expect in regards to information on Nintendo's next generation device. We just got their investor meeting kind of financial data in terms of sales data for all their games and hardware and stuff. I'll make a separate video going over that or maybe we'll talk about it later in this, but I wanted to hop on here and post a video right now talk about the breaking news and that is this tweet from Furukawa. They didn't mention this in any of the financial like slides they did. They just tweeted this, but here it says, this is Furukawa, president of Nintendo. We will make an official announcement about the successor to Nintendo Switch within the fiscal year. Very important. It will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. We will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the latter half of 2024. But please be aware that there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. This is... This is the roadmap, man. This is what we've been talking about. I was definitely off. I thought there would be a direct in April. I got a little carried away with that, but I've been saying that the Switch 2 would be mentioned during this financial meeting, and then we would hear about it later in the year. And it's looking like that's what's going to be the case. Now, there are some very interesting things about this that are worth noting. So they say they'll announce the successor to Nintendo Switch within this fiscal year, which for those that don't know, ends on March 31st, 2025. They could have said calendar year, but they did not say that. So it is possible that we go another, what's that, seven months without any acknowledgement from Nintendo about this device. I think that is unlikely. However, as someone who's been predicting that this console will release in March of 2025, I have to admit I'm a little skeptical of that now. I think that is still the likeliest outcome, but I think internally Nintendo might not be so confident, which is why they didn't say that. If you remember back in 2015, when they confirmed the NX, and then a year later they mentioned it again in 2016, they said that it would release in March 2017. Like, they announced the worldwide release date without even announcing the name of the console. So my thought process is, if they were confident in a March 2025 release for the Switch 2, they probably would have said that. So, like I said, I think they're probably internally targeting that, but there is a chance it might slip beyond March of next year. But either way, finally, confirmation that we will be getting an announcement about their next hardware within the next 10 months is very exciting. I know a lot of people have been on the Switch 2 hype train for several years. I was more conservative and figured it wouldn't release until 2025, so I've always expected that we wouldn't hear about it until this year to begin with. And it's finally happening, man. <laughs> now, the other part of this tweet that is very exciting is confirmation of a June Direct. With no Direct in February or no, you know, traditional Direct in February, no Direct in April like a lot of us were kind of hoping for. I think that was mostly Hopium. A June Direct was likely, but it's still very nice to see. And the exciting thing about that to me is Nintendo's forecast for Switch hardware through March of next year. They're forecasting 13.5 million Switches will sell by March 31st, 2025, which is a lot, because last year they only sold, I think, 15.7 million, and that was with, you know, Scarlet and Violet was still pretty new, but also they had Tears of the Kingdom, Mario Wonder, Pikmin 4. It was definitely a, a more robust lineup than what we're looking at right now with Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion 2. So if they're still expecting to sell 13.5 million Switches uh, this current fiscal year, that tells me they have some big games that we aren't aware of. Maybe it is a Pokemon game, like I've been speculating. Maybe Mario Party, maybe Metroid Prime 4 will have some sort of Switch OLED bundle that'll help move units for collectors. Maybe there will be another revision of the Switch. That is certainly possible to hit that 13.5 million. But yes, we will be getting a Direct in June to discuss Nintendo Switch games for the second half of 2024, and I would assume a little bit into 2025, so that is very exciting. But yeah, it really is just a matter of when we think they'll actually announce this thing. If it's releasing in March, at this point, based on their pattern of how they've announced consoles in the past through, you know, tweets like this, I think it's possible that, honestly, I think they could theoretically wait until maybe even January, if it's releasing in late March. But I think the likelier outcome, maybe this is more hopium than, than you know, objective reasoning. <laughs> I think the likelier outcome is an announcement in September or maybe even October again, like with the Switch. Because if we're getting a June Direct for Nintendo Switch 1 games, it would make sense that the next beat would be for Switch 2. Maybe do it before TGS so that Japanese developers can announce their plans for the console. But honestly, now that they've tweeted this, I wonder, we probably will see some games announced for it. You know, Summer Games Fest is next month. I think it's likely we could see... Square Enix during Dragon Quest Day say like, yeah, Dragon Quest 12 is coming to the successor. Because now that Nintendo has acknowledged it, 
other developers can acknowledge the mere existence of this new Nintendo Switch successor, which is very exciting. It's going to make covering Nintendo a lot more exciting. It's been really dry the past five months, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And yeah, man, it's just been a crazy ride for the past two years. Even as someone who didn't believe the Switch 2 would have released in 2023 or 2024, we've been talking about it for years. And that that this is a major stepping stone to being through all of this and getting to see this new console and see the games for it. You know, there are people in my, my videos that comment saying they're not going to confirm the Switch 2 this year. It's not going to release. It's coming out in 2026. I guess 2026 isn't off the table yet. <laughs> but, you know, there's this one person that comments like, no, no, it's not getting announced on May 7th. Well, here we go. I guess this isn't truly truly an announcement it's an it's an announcement of an announcement but this is what i was expecting right it, just a confirmation that we will be hearing more later in the year or later in this fiscal year once again that could be as late as march of next year that we finally see this thing but i think we'll see it before then but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below i wanted to hop on here and discuss this lots to look forward to lots to discuss in the coming months like i said i hope that a lot of third parties will start kind of you know, vaguely mentioning that their games are coming to the successor and that June Direct should be very exciting. If they're planning to ship 13.5 million units in the next physical year or in this physical year, I'd imagine there will be some pretty big games. We'll have to wait and see what those are, but I think the Nintendo news drought is finally ending. There hasn't really been a game drought in my opinion, but when you look at their release lineup that they put in their slides, it's literally Endless Ocean, which we already had released, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, Pokemon Legends ZA, and Metroid Prime 4 TBD. The only games slated for this year currently are Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion, which are remasters. So I'm very excited to see some new games announced. There is still that Nintendo World Championship game that Puro uh, kind of leaked and then the ESRB leaked after that. So it's definitely, we're definitely going to be getting that announced soon. I imagine before June. So that'll be a Twitter announcement, I guess. But yeah, it's, it's going to be an exciting time. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. How are you feeling now that we finally have some sort of mention of this thing from Nintendo? When do you think it'll be announced? And what are you hoping to see in this June Direct? It is a little weird to see them announce a June Direct like this. You know, back in like 2014, 2015, they used to do those like Mega 64 skits to announce a Direct. But that, that hasn't been the case for a very long time. So this might be... This might be the longest, we, like, in advance we've had a Direct announced for, for Nintendo. Um, at least in the past, like, decade anyway. So, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Of course, subscribe here for more Nintendo Switch 2 news, reviews, coverage, all of that stuff. I would appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter at Botox Games. And until next time, folks, peace.